This is an emergency stop button, and it is just labeled control box. So model number, it has one unit inside of it. Looks like that may be some additional model information there. But it is made in China, and the description on the label is Red Sign Mushroom. And then looks like it can support up to 10 amps and 660 volts. So this is an emergency stop button that you might use if you have some machinery or equipment where you need to have a quick way to shut it off. And so this is a control box with a big red button that allows you to have an emergency cutoff. If we look inside here, you'll get a look at it. So right there you can see we have this ring that says emergency stop. Okay. Then the top of the box, let's take a closer look. So it looks like there's a plastic O-ring that goes here. It's a little bit stiff, but I think you want to get it inside of this groove there. So you get a watertight seal. This feels like it may have lost its elasticity because here, notice how that's fallen out there and it's actually stuck to the plastic there. I pried it out and there it goes. So it's not completely watertight because it's not a continuous O-ring. It's just a rubber band that goes across here so just make sure you stick that into the groove otherwise it may not close completely when you try to screw it together all right well let's leave that for later but as you can see that is the opening for the button to pass through these are some screw holes here four of them where you would secure the box together let's take a look at the button here and it's wrapped in this plastic. Let's open that up. There you have first look at the button. It's plastic. That's plastic. Looks like most of this is plastic material. Have a couple of contacts here. If you look at this, it says A for green and B is orange. And there's some writing there. It's very fine and maybe difficult to see. You can see numbers here, three and four. And on this side, one and two. Again, some additional information here. 10 amps, 660 volts. Let's see. I think you may need to twist it. There it pops up. And then push, and it kind of clicks and it latches. And then you have to twist it. And then it pops up, and then you can, it unlatches and you can use it again. So one side should be normally open, the other side is normally closed. Looks like there are some screws that have fallen out of the plastic bag. So you get four screws. They look like that, look like wood screws, flat heads, Phillips. And then this is the bottom. You have numbers down here, it says 54 and 49. Not sure if that refers to millimeters but there are some holes in the bottom that may help with mounting to a surface then you have this plug here so this plug here is actually feels like a rubber plug but not real rubber maybe it's rubber it's some sort of plastic and that just pops out of there so then you could have your cable go in there 
then can put this back. Well, can't put it back if you have a cable in there, but we'll put it back there for now. And it looks like this unscrews here if you want to assemble it. Okay. This one, you unscrew this. That opens up like that. This plastic chrome piece comes off. You have this. It's not a rubber washer. It feels like plastic, but that sits right in there. And then probably want to tighten this down a bit, like so. Then pass this through this opening. There is a, a key here in the hole, but there is no key on the button. So you can rotate it 360 degrees. Looks like this silver part you just tighten down there. Okay. And then, oh, we forgot the emergency stop, so let's put that in first. That just sits there. Then the silver ring, screw that down. Okay. And then screw the button on. Okay. Here's your emergency stop button. And then that just fits together here. Like so. Now you'll want to get that this gasket in fully, otherwise it's not going to close all the way. And that's what it would look like. You would put these screws inside of there, four of them, one in each corner. And then you could hit it like that to stop. Twist to pop it up. Stop. And that pops it up again, unlatches it. So that's the emergency stop button. The other thing you're probably wondering is which side is normally open and which side is normally closed in this circuit because your cutoff circuit may require a certain normally open or normally closed. So let's test that now. Here I have a meter and I'm just going to have it in continuity mode. So right now, let's start with the button up. So let's test the orange side first. That is, okay. So that's normally closed. Let's test the green side. So green is normally open and orange is normally closed. So when the button is up, the orange circuit is closed. But let's, I'm gonna push down on the button. So right now it's closed. And when I push the button there down on the table, it opened this up. Now, if we test the green, this should be closed. And it is. We hear that beep. Okay. Well, that is the emergency stop. So again, orange is normally closed. Green is normally open.